What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out 2024 Topps Chrome UFC two box break random division number one. As you can see, we already uploaded number two, so I had to doodle over it. Uh, now remember, guys, it is one box of Breakers Delight, one box of Hobby. Everybody gets a random division from the list below, and all cards ship. So as you can see here, it'll have men's bantamweight all the way down to women's flyweight, strawweight, and bantamweight. Um, so there you go. There's the list of names. There's the divisions. Let's click dice roll. It's a five and a three eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there you go. Five and a three eight. Tristan down to Robert. Five, three, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five and a three, eight, eight. Men's bantamweight down to men's featherweight. All right, so Tristan, you have men's bantamweight and men's lightweight. SKS, you have men's flyweight. D Porter with men's middleweight. Tristan with men's light heavyweight. Nick with flyweight, women's strawweight, and bantamweight. And then, of course, D Porter, you have men's heavyweight. Uh, welterweight for Tristan. And Robert, men's featherweight there. So a lot of different uh, weight classes there. So basically, I would assume, yeah, Nick, you're just getting anything that's, uh, I guess, women's divisions. Um, and then, of course, you know, that too, which is a lot of big popular UFC fighters in this uh in this product here yeah if you obviously if you guys want to run it back we definitely can run it back and sorry eric so okay, okay i got you so it's just cut short which sounds cool right you just feel like you're getting an early day out but not really right because now you have to finish up the next day or something right yeah Yeah, no, the, the pay doesn't really change, I guess, right? Yeah. I guess that kind of sucks then. Because, I mean, it's cool. I guess you get to rest a little longer today, but not really, right? Because <laughs> you're just going to make it up the next day. I'd probably rather not have the rain happen. Unless, like, I'm feeling a little sick or something, and it's like, all right, cool. At least I got to go home and rest. Rest up to have more energy. All right, I'm going to close the trade window, guys. All right, so I have a case of Delight and a case of Hobby. And I believe they both have 12. Excited to rip this, guys. I mean, I probably don't really get to rip ton ton of UFC, but I think the fact that they made like delight and stuff has been kind of cool. All right, so let's just generate a number here, one through twelve, and then we'll just grab randomly, uh, like we do for the rest of the breaks. And then same thing here, I'll, I'll lay out the case of hobby, and uh, we'll generate a number there too. All right, here we go. So first number generated is eleven. So. Six, 11 is going to be this box right here. All right, awesome. 
We'll keep these boxes intact, obviously, over here. Uh, let's open up the case. How many hours did you get cut short today, Eric? Because of the rain? Is it like a half day? Quarter day? Alright, let's generate another number here, guys. 10 this time for the hobby. 7, 8, 9, 10. Go with the hobby edition now, guys. First, so again, guys, I, mean, I only came on like two hours earlier. You know, obviously, nothing was super close, so uh, figured at least this break sold out. Maybe we do the second one. But if you guys want to sell a break, guys, you know, I'm here. At least set it up for Joe when he gets here, you know. Oh, okay, so you know. You gonna do an extra two hours maybe tomorrow? And okay, well, there's our first autograph to 50 future stars. Ian Machado, Gary, gold, and that is a welterweight. Uh, welterweights. Men's welterweight is Tris. Jason, who's the buybacks? Uh, for what product? What, what are you talking about? Ottman, lightweight, looks like a purple but not numbered. Magomed, light, heavyweight. And we got Irene, Aldana, to 199. So is there going to be a lot of non-numbered cards? Chris Gutierrez, Anthony Smith. Carlston Harris. Wow, Leota Machida. I used to use him in like UFC 09. Caitlin. And we got a Kumar Usman to 50. 
Nigerian Nightmare Gold. Oh, I have no idea, bro. I haven't even looked at any checklist for... For, uh... Wait, hold on. What are you talking about? Are you talking about for UFC? I haven't looked at anything for any of the new products. Uh, minus, uh... The ones that are coming out Friday. We're looking at, like, Dynasty and stuff. Uh, but what, what are you talking about? There's buybacks in what, though? This product? Oh, sorry. The Usman is a welterweight. So that's another one there for Tristan. Juliana Pena, Bantamweight. And we got a Calvin Qatar Featherweight to $299. And we got Allen Flyweight. I oh, don't know, I'll just leave up all those, I guess. Korean Zombie Featherweight. Well, usually the MVP promotion, Eric, they don't put them in Archive Signature Series. They'll put them in next year's Topps Chrome. That's that's what they did that uh, this past year. Dusko. If I remember correctly, that's what they used uh, Aaron Judge and... Uh... Ooh, another one out of 50. Vanessa Demopoulos. Strawweight to 50. Yeah. Oh, no. Josh Quinlan. Is there supposed to be two autographs in this or just one in Hobby? Oh, there it is. Stripe. Mirchich. Heavyweight. Uh, heavyweight's going to go deep harder on the board, baby. There you go, man. Marlon Vera, Bantamweight. So it looks like a lot of those aren't really colored. Or they're not numbered, I should say. And nice Conor McGuega. Conor McGuega. Lightweight. That's going to uh, Tristan. But, um, sorry, Eric. I, I might have got your question confused again. I was just thinking about it in my head or not. So you're saying they did a buyback promotion for UFC 2? And they put them in this product as well? I Dude, I, I can't even tell you the last time I wrote any UFC products. Usually this usually sticks to personals, honestly. And I don't really do uh, IG as much anymore, so... I feel like I miss out on a lot of the... WWE, UFC type of deal. But I just know the baseball ones are always put in the next year's Topps Chrome, if that's what you were asking, but probably not, I assume. All right, I'll sleeve up all those colors just to be safe. It's all brand new stuff anyways, right? All right, awesome. But yeah, no, I have no idea if they did a buyback program for uh, for UFC 2. I, I, that'd be awesome if they did. I didn't realize that. Does UFC give out awards like that? Like MVP awards? Like the best fighter of the year and stuff like that? That'd be kind of cool. I don't know if they do, though. Alright. That was fun. Let's do another one of these guys. Now, this one's going to give you six chrome refractors and two chrome autographs. So, obviously, just skipping skipping all that base stuff and just getting right to the, just getting right to the fun stuff. So here we go. Alright, so we got that there. That's right, baby. <laughs> Sparza. I don't even know half of these people's names. Namajunas. Muhammad. Mokev out of 150. 
And uh, that's a Future Stars autograph. That's a flyweight. Just going to SKS. And then we got Elvis Brenner. Lightweight. That's a uh, rookie as well. So Elvis Brenner. And that's lightweight. Going to Tristan. Then we got a couple number cards here. Mackenzie Dern, straw weights, which of course gonna go to Nick. Then we got a lightweight here, green. The green looks really nice. Anshul Jubilee. Yeah, Patty does have autographs in this, I believe. I've seen him in the, the previews. And then Josh Quinlan, welterweight. All right, with well, something new, guys, like I said, I haven't ripped any of this kind of stuff in a long time. A lot different. I don't know, if, is, is Topps Chrome, is this like a UFC design for Topps Chrome, or is this what something in the future is going to look like? I feel like that Octagon stuff is more for UFC, I assume, but I kind of like the way it looks. Really, 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 really nice little product here. There's a couple autographs we got there. There's a couple autographs we got there. Obviously, everything's shipping, which is great, uh, but that was a little fun break, guys. Again, number two is actually down to like three left, so you guys want to run it back. And so we got some stuff here. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you.